marking her Hill Holiday return is Leslie Bealby. Thank you. <laughs> hey everyone, nice to see you all. Um, first thing I want to do is get a show of hands. And many of you guys binge on your favorite shows. Um, things like Game of Thrones, yeah, Mad Men, Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey and haagen it's like crack. It's like a middle-aged woman's um, you know, drug of choice. Um, the reason why I ask is because a lot of the speakers today have talked about how we kind of know what people are watching, we know what they're viewing, whether it's television or, or social media or any other kind of video content. What we don't know a ton about is how they watch. And so we've decided to do a little social experiment. We took tw uh, 12 unsuspecting individuals um, from different, very diverse backgrounds we went into their homes and we put a, a meter, essentially. We connected a meter to all of their devices. We gave them 25 tokens. Each token was worth 35 minutes. So if you can do the math quickly, you'll see that um, that is 14.5 hours of television to last them the week. Um, now, it's interesting. When people were given this challenge, they're all, most of them said, you know what? I think this will be fine. I don't watch that much TV. Um, you know, piece of cake. I got this covered. But look and see what happened. Okay, uh, it is uh, Thursday night. Um, this uh, super fun experiment is winding down. Thank God. Hi, I'm Blair. And I'm Dominic. The average American watches 30 hours of television per week. To understand the human stories behind the well-known numbers, we visited and spent some time with four households around Boston. And to find out what truly mattered to them, we asked them to pay for their television for every single half hour. We're going to hook your TV up to a token timer. So basically every time you want to use your TV, you're going to have to put a token in it, and it'll buy you 35 minutes of time on your TV. <laughs> we have football on Sunday. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm for it. I'm on yeah, yeah, totally. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, I want to use a token to watch some more football. So I am uh, working my way through these coins, tokens, rather quickly because um, I was in the uh, middle of watching the Red Sox game and flipping back and forth between the U.S. Open and also the uh, the Yankees game. So and at this rate. Um, I definitely won't make it past Sunday. I decided to start watching the Food Network at 8, and it's a kind of a tradition I have. Hey, it's uh, I just put a token in because I just woke up and it's football. Saving up for uh, the big day tomorrow. It's the first full Sunday of uh, yeah, NFL football. I'm like a uh, kid at Christmas. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. So we use nine of our tokens. So we have 11 left. And I've waited all day to turn on the TV. It's now 1 o'clock Sunday. The game is about to start. I'm going all in with my last three tokens. It's only Sunday. Just picked up dinner. Uh, Going to throw out some TV, probably watch a football game for a bit. So we're watching the men's finals, right? Yeah. So we're putting in, and we're putting in two tokens. tokens. Two tokens left and we choose to watch the season premiere. <coughs> season premiere of Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. The uh, Monday Night Football game is about to start, so I decided to use a uh, 35 minute token. I wanted to just say that I'm sorry. Lindsay unplugged the television from the thing on Sunday. You can talk about the the cheating. Yeah, this is not cheating. No, you need to put that on there though. Shush. Just it. it was much, much harder than expected. I laughed thinking that we could go a whole week without TV and <laughs> I couldn't go one night without TV. So um, it was very difficult. Blair, thank you for picking us, but don't ever pick us for something like that again. <laughs> I can't wait for tonight to just flick through the TV, watch whatever we want without worrying about how many tokens are in there. After you guys left, I said, you know, oh, I said, I, I can do this knowing that I'm not home much during the week and you know I only watch TV for an hour or two at night um, 
But uh, yeah, no, I was my calculations were way off. Yeah, not even close. I just wanted to turn it on, like I, you know, for five minutes or ten minutes. Are uh, really realizing how much um, we really watch television and how much that we depend on it sometimes, which is kind of pathetic. Hello, you want to say hi to the camera? Oh my goodness! Oh, hey hi, hey hi guys. Yeah, say so I'm gonna watch TV, football with Dad. Yeah, love football. Okay. Okay. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. I think pretty much everybody failed the experiment, with the exception of, much to our surprise, of the five college guys. You have to wonder. I suppose they're doing what college guys do when they're not watching television, whatever that is. But, um, <laughs> you know. Um, what does this teach us? It teaches us several things. I mean, yeah, people watch much more television than they, than they imagine. That's not a new insight. That's been the case for decades, yeah? We always underestimate what we do. But it taught us something much more valuable than this. It taught us that the context of television has completely changed. It's really not about watching television anymore. It's about essentially being continuously connected, almost in a way that is, that is through osmosis. It's almost absorbing television. We have so many ultra-connected devices nowadays, and the list of devices is getting bigger and bigger. The consumers nowadays just they want to have that kind of control over their viewing experiences, whether it's two minutes on their way to the subway looking at CNN, whether it's you know, looking at the, the game with their family at a weekend, or whether it's multi-screening when they're doing the earning in their home. It almost doesn't matter. They want to have control. So what that means for us is we have to understand that consumers nowadays want access to video content whenever they want it, wherever they want it, on any device that they want. And most importantly, they've got to have it on demand. Thank you.